हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू ऑडियो बुक वाला टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद अ ब्रांड न्यू बुक बाय पीटर एटकिंस एंड द नेम ऑफ द बुक इज लाइफ इज शॉर्ट एंड सो इज दिस बुक टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट एन इंट्रोडक्शन टू दिस बुक सो लेट्स स्टार्ट इंट्रोडक्शन लाइफ इज शॉर्ट यू कैन इफ यू वर्क हार्ड एंड आर लकी गेट मोर ऑफ ऑलमोस्ट एनीथिंग बट यू कैंट गेट मोर टाइम Time only goes one way. The average American has a lifespan of less than thirty thousand days. So, how you choose to live matters. That's the topic of this book. I don't pretend to have all the answers. I'm still learning every day, and many of the good ideas here I have picked up from other people, either directly or by reading. But this is what's worked for me. Like life, this book is short. Many books I read could communicate their ideas in fewer pages, so I have tried to be brief in line with the wise person who noted, "If I would had more time, I would have written a shorter letter." I don't think brevity implies lack of content. The concepts here have improved the quality of my life, and I hope they are useful to you as well. Using these concepts to I have created a life I love. My job doesn't feel like work. I love and respect the people with whom I spend time, and I am also passionate about my life outside work. I have learned how to create a balance that makes me happy between work and other interests, including my family, friends, and exercise. Sadly, I think that's rare. And yet, while I know I am lucky, most people can work towards those goals in their own lives. My interest in making the most of my life began when I was just starting college. But when I was in my mid thirties, a boss I admired died of cancer. He was young. He had a great wife. He had three young children. He had a fantastic career. He had everything in life. he just didn't have enough time so while i had often thought about how to get the most out of life the death of someone so young and vital increased my sense of urgency to act on it one of the things i have always wanted to do was to work for myself as a result i left an exciting job at microsoft in 2001 amidst the internet burst to found the investing firm i now run It was hard to do both financially and emotionally. When I left Microsoft, many people, friends, family and even some of the press thought I was deluding myself to start a fund focused on internet related companies during a market crash. A press quote from the Times said, "Call him a little crazy, call him a little nuts." I had never seen that type of coverage before and in a sense the press was right the business wasn't easy to start fortunately from a vantage point of 10 years down the road it worked out quite well a key part of my job is reading and thinking about a broad variety of topics so writing this book was relatively easy it's even easier to read but like many things in life actually executing each day on these concepts is extremely difficult with thanks to thomas edison life is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration even so i hope you have fun perspiring peter atkins seattle december 2010